Okay guys, so, you know, I'm rehabilitating a uh, an old G4 that I found. Um, you know, these computers are really cool. I, I'm nostalgic, I like them, and you know, you can upgrade them, and they're really cool. You know, in the house, just everyday computers. I like to use mine as a file and media server as well. Um, but, you know, they're not worth a lot of money, so you really don't want to sink a lot of money into them. So when you can, I like to rehabilitate these fans. This in particular is the 120 millimeter um, case fan. You can see the cage down on the floor and my toes. Woohoo! Check it out. Um, yeah, so you want to clean, you you know, want to rehabilitate these bad boys. They have funky connectors. Um, so, you know, why go to the, unless you want to mod it and, you know, which is cool and have like a nice blue LED fan in there, give it a nice little color. That's That splash of color is really cool. And if you want to do that right on, go for it. Um, but, you know, I'm lazy and cheap, so I don't want to do that. So, uh, this is how I rehabilitate these bad boys. So the very first thing I do is I just suck out all the nasty crap that's accumulated in there over the last 16 years. A lot of dust and, and you know, that throws off the axes on the fan, creates a lot of fan noise and prematurely wears out that fan. So that's the first thing I do is vacuum all, you know, the exterior and the interior, both sides. Just get it as clean as I can with the vacuum. And then the next thing that I do is I use an astringent to clean it and Q-tips. Um, here I'm using my wife's acetone uh, for her nail nails. Um, any kind of, even rubbing alcohol works wonderfully, but you just take a little Q-tip and you get into each one of these little fans and just start cleaning it out like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these done and show you the result. Okay guys, you can see it's nice and nice and clean now. Uh, took all the crap off it. Took about, I don't know, long, five minutes maybe. Much cleaner. Okay, so now I'll go show you how I, uh, you know, rehabilitate the uh, central axis of the fan so it stays nice and friction free. Oh, yeah, look at all that nasty, dirty, grungy q tips and paper towels that I used. Okay, guys, so take a, a knife, you know, something like that. Just very gently pry this up until you can see the bearing and the act and the little axes that it's the fan spins on. And then you're just going to take your all-in-one lubricant and I'll, I'll and just put a little drip of it in there or two. There we go. And you just let that let that soak in down in there. You get a little extra as I did. Uh, just you know, clean it off. And I do this two or three times, just to get it nice and soaked in there. Give it a few minutes. Cool. Then once you're done, you just put that back and reinstall the case. Okay. Fan. So the final thing that I do to my fans when I put them back in, and I forgot to show you, but I really couldn't do it one-handed, is I put rubber grommets in between the screw, the the frame, and the fan. Again, just to help with uh, dampen a little bit of vibration noise um, but yeah that is it so now it's just about putting them back in right on thanks